So good morning, welcome to the channel, where this morning you find me taking a wander down into my local woodland to hopefully take some images that capture and reflect the essence of spring. Got a beautiful sunrise behind me, hoping some of that light will fall onto the woodland floor and illuminate these beautiful bluebells. Hopefully get some images this morning. Now, woodland photography is one of the, if not the hardest genre of photography to take. And for me this morning, it's all about trying to calm that chaos in the woodland photography. So as you can probably see over there through the trees, the sun is beginning to rise. I'm just really waiting for that light to come through into the, uh, into the woodland floor. But just taking a, a quick shot here of the sun rising through the trees with this carpet of bluebells. Gone for F22 to capture that sunburst effect as the sun penetrates through the woodlands carpet of bluebells I'm at f22 it is 12 minutes past six so it's very dark here in the woods but uh, this is a three second exposure so I'll just take that one now So we've got some of that early morning sunlight now beginning to illuminate the woodland floor. Going for an intimate shot here, I've got the 24 to 70 lens on, zoomed in at about 36 mil, focusing on this bluebell frond here. ISO 100, F8, one fifth of a second. Let's see what that comes out like. So we've got some beautiful light now shining in through the woodland, casting some beautiful shadows made by the tree trunks. So for this image, which I'm really liking on the back of the screen anyway, we've got the contrast of the shadows cast by the tree trunks and we've got little shafts of sunlight coming in through the scene. So we've got the contrast of both light and shadow the green foliage of the bluebells and the blue of the flowers themselves. So I've got as high as I can with the tripod because what I don't want to do is get too much of that backlight in. Let's just zoom in a little bit there. That's right, okay. Take that one. F5.6 ISO 100. Hopefully that comes out okay. So I've got a lovely little intimate nature shot here with a bit of an oddity. Try and work out what it is, but it looks like 
white bluebells in amongst all the other bluebells. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but anyway, we've got the, the light shining straight onto this flower, zoomed in at 70 mil, ISO 100, f2.8 for a really shallow depth of field. The focal point being the white flower, encompassed and surrounded by the beautiful bluebells, one thirtieth of a second. See what that comes out like. So this woodland photography challenge really is a challenge. It's uh, incredibly difficult trying to find those compositions, pick out those scenes. The sun is now rising behind me. It's getting quite harsh, the light on the edge of the woodland where I was taking those first images. So I'm gonna head deeper into the woods to see what else we can find. I've uh, been shooting on a low aperture to provide that depth of field and that separation because we have no mist this morning. Um, trying to pick out scenes and compositions is so tricky. You've got a plethora of tree trunks, branches, fronds, saplings, fallen wood, twigs, sticks. It's uh, all quite distracting when you're trying to compose an image. But hey, that's the challenge of woodland photography and really enjoying it so far this morning going to probably crack out the 70 to 200 lens and try and zoom in and pick out some more of the detail in nature some of those more intimate shots and see what we can capture but uh, loving the challenge so far this morning I'm going to crack on and see what else we can get so I've just had a wander a bit further back into the woodlands as the light on the edge of the woods there is getting a bit too bright so i've just come a little bit deeper in it is a challenge it's a real challenge this so much going on so much chaos in the woodlands as i'm sure photographers out there will know well i've got this little scene here with a beautiful silver birch tree with some moss on the tree trunk surrounded by the bluebells zoomed in and focused on the bottom of the silver birch tree got some lovely light cascading its way through and surrounding the bottom of the tree trunk f 5.6 for that shallow depth of field iso 100 one eighth of a second and see what that image looks like out the 70 to 200 and got this lovely family of silver birch trees got nice and low with a tripod shooting across the bluebells zooming in keep zooming in there we go so for this shot I'm at f 3.2 ISO 100 1 80th of a second got some lovely light oh, that's quite nice So I've got the, like I say, I've got the long lens on. I've been taking a few images in and around the woods, just seeking out compositions. 
and I'll put the best of those images up for you in a moment. But this shot, again, we've got the dappled light shining in, zoomed in right to 200. ISO 100 f 5.6, one, 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 sorry, one, one twenty-fifth of a second. And that is just zoomed right in on the bluebells. Nothing else in the scene. Just the contrast of the green, the blue, the light and the shadow. We've just come down into this little dell here, shooting straight in front of me, level with the tops of the bluebells, with a couple of silver birch in the background. I'm at f2.8, ISO 100, one one hundredth of a second. Again, manual focus for this one, focusing in on the blue bell just in front of the silver birch tree there so I've got some really nice depth in this shot blurred out the blue bells in the foreground so say focused on that blue bell there in front of the silver birch take that image and hopefully that one's okay nice little nature shot So just manually focusing on those bluebells in front of the silver birch tree. This dell that I'm in here is a great little vantage point because the camera is level with the woodland floor, giving me a great vantage point, enabling me to shoot straight across those carpeted bluebells. See what that image comes out like. then conversely gaining a, a higher elevation. So I've got this little knoll here that I've happened upon, giving me the opportunity to shoot down onto the woodland floor. I've got a scene lined up here with the bluebells surrounding the silver birch trees. And that higher elevation has enabled me to get a different perspective, a different take on the bluebells that I've been shooting this morning. So in terms of calming the chaos of woodland photography, I think there's two lessons I've learned this morning. The first is all about my lens choice. Started off with a 2470 and hopefully got some half decent images with those. But switching out to the 70 to 200 has enabled me to cut out a lot of that noise, those twigs, those branches, those saplings. It's enabled me to zoom in and hone in on my composition and find the scene that I want to take. So that's really, really helped as well as looking for different elevations from which to photograph. So like up here where I'm high up, I've got the legs extended on the tripod and shooting down, as opposed to the earlier shots that I was taking down in the dell where I was level with the woodland floor and shooting almost straight through the bluebells.
So the other thing I've been cognizant of, being very mindful this morning when taking my woodland photography images, is the lighting. Being very focused and applying my efforts on getting these images backlit to give them a more soft and ethereal feel. Okay, so that's uh, the last image for me this morning. I had a wonderful time down here in the woodland trying to calm the chaos of woodland photography and whether I've succeeded or not, I'm not quite sure. Uh, you will have seen the images by now, hopefully managed to capture at least some half decent images. It's been uh, a real challenge, but very, very enjoyable. The light's been lovely. Shame we didn't have any mist. I might get the chance to come back down again if we do get any in the next maybe week or 10 days. But uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the images. Hope you've enjoyed following me on my woodland photography challenge. And all that remains for me to say is take care, stay safe, be good. See you on the next one, guys. Goodbye.